Well, first of all, a uh, big thank you and an apology to everybody in Chicago. The show that was supposed to happen couldn't go on because of the unfortunate passing of my father-in-law. And I've never canceled a show in my life before, but this was a very good reason. I saw some people here in Toronto tonight from Chicago who still want to experience the show, so that's really cool. And, uh, I got so much condolences and, and really sweet messages on Twitter and Facebook, so thank you for your understanding. After a very successful kickoff in New York City, Arm & Only Intense is definitely on in North America. The next step would have been Chicago, but unfortunately the Chicago show had to be cancelled at the last moment. Yeah, it's been a hell of a week. My father-in-law was doing very uh, bad and I went home. And he died uh, on Monday, and then we had to make a decision to cancel the Chicago show. And I've never canceled a show in my life before. And it was a very, very tough decision. But there was a lot to arrange, a lot. Cancel hotels, cancel transport, rescheduling all the flights. Uh, of course, we had to call the whole team and tell them the sad news. I worked hard with Live Nation, the promoter of the show, and everybody involved to, to find a solution and to reschedule the show. But unfortunately, due to playoffs in the stadium and the complexity of the production, we were not able to find a new date. And that meant the cancellation. It's very sad for the Chicago crowd. Danielle and Dennis can leave the home city of house again. Everything is rearranged. The team in Holland and in the US worked really hard to, to, to get there. So we're ready for Toronto. I've got to be honest with you, when I walked into the Metro Convention Center, I was like, ooh, you know, how are we going to do this show? It was a very beautiful venue, but it's not very high, not a high ceiling, which is a problem for the trampoline artists. But I think I will hit this lamp and that one over there with my foot. but. We try to avoid that as much as possible. The main issue is the height. Then the format, it's a little bit of a challenge. Who's the guy that approved this venue? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna make it happen today though, my brothers. We're gonna make it happen. Get on the line, straighten it up. There you go, come on. It turns out the trampolines are not the problem, but the height of the ball is. At this height, it'll be in front of the visuals for the entire show. But is it going to fit though, the ball? No, it's not going to fit. Yeah, and we have to check the ball actually will disappear above the screen. Yeah, otherwise we have to take it out, otherwise it's going to be all night in front of the visuals. You're going to take him out? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. While Martin continues to figure out what to do with the height of the ball, the rest of the team goes off sightseeing to Niagara Falls. We're going to... We're going to Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. <laughs> You sound disappointed. Yeah, I just kind of thought it would be bigger. On the drive back, the team gets an unpleasant surprise. Things start to smell a little suspicious. Somebody's hidden a dead skunk on board the bus. Somebody has decided to use eau de toilette. Pepe Le Pew was also on the bus with them. There's a reason this guy is single. Back to work. It seems that Martin can't get the ball any higher. There's only one solution. Take it out during the show. It is a huge venue. It's going to be hard because they have lots of glass, which reflects, and then the reflections come back at you louder than what was going out in the first place, so that's going to be tricky. I always imagine what it was like for the crowd, but never imagine what it was like for Armin stood back here, actually. You can feel it, but it's strange. Trailer! Trailer! We're camping again! Woohoo! 
we didn't have tents like in Helsinki. We had uh, campers uh, behind the stage. It's not as comfortable as a normal dressing room. Uh, but, you know, we manage. Where's the car part of it? Oh, look! We got a fireplace. And I'm so proud of the team. I'm so proud of the dancers and the singers that nobody came to me and complained about it. Zitten we weer in die tiefs, Harry? Ah! We niks! standing backstage now, going on in exactly 10 minutes. I'm really excited because I've been coming to Toronto for so many years. You know, I think my Toronto fans deserve something special. I'm mean, only. Saturday morning I flew uh, to Toronto to join the rest of the team and I was really surprised uh, to see some people who traveled from Chicago to Toronto to be there with, uh, for the show. And that really brought some joy in my heart. <laughs> Thank you Toronto, you guys rule. Next time in Armin Only the Road movie, the team will go northwest to Vancouver. Which is the home base of Trevor Guthrie, and he's actually really nervous. The most, uh, the most nervous I've been for the whole show. That's my hometown, my family's gonna be there, friends, so they haven't seen me do this before, so it's a bit weird for me. I just want to thank all the Arm and Only fans for coming out and supporting us. This this show would not be possible if it, if it weren't for you. So thank you so much for joining us and for just being intense with us, as Armin likes to say. It's a pleasure.